Hello friends. Switzerland, the official name of the Swiss Confederation. For many years, it has always been among the top wealthiest countries in the world. According to the International Monetary Fund, in 2019, the country's GDP per capita reached $83,700. Ranked second in the world. According to the Global Wealth Report, each adult in Switzerland has an average wealth of $564,650. And about 12% are dollar millionaires. Speaking of Swiss wealth, we could list a page. But still not all the impressive numbers of this country. There's one thing we think you're wondering, too, why are they so rich? Although the country is landlocked, it also has no significant resources. First, we will look at modern Swiss history. It is a country that has maintained a neutral policy for more than 200 years. After France's defeat in Europe, the Treaty of Paris in 1815 was signed. The European powers, including Great Britain, France, Austria, Prussia, Portugal, Spain, Russia, and Sweden, agreed to permanently recognize Switzerland as an independent and neutral country. In 1920, the League of Nations, the predecessor of the present-day United Nations, was founded. And also approved, considering Switzerland as a neutral country in the world. Therefore, when the whole of Europe was engulfed in smoke and fire during World War I and II, Switzerland remained unharmed. That is a very favorable point, for the Swiss economy to have the opportunity to develop compared to other countries in the region. Second, thanks to the neutral policy, the economy and politics are very stable. Switzerland became the most trusted treasury in the world. In 2018, the estimated value of assets managed by Swiss banks was more than $7,000 billion. Almost equal to the total assets of the 750 richest billionaires in the world today. In which, nearly 50% are deposits of billionaires and foreign businesses. The financial sector, especially the banking sector, is one of the important elements of the Swiss economy. It contributes about 10% to the country's total GDP. However, while important, banking is not the sector that determines Swiss wealth. It's a high-tech manufacturing industry. Since they have no significant resources, and cannot utilize the land for farming, agriculture accounts for only 0.65% of GDP. So it is imperative that they use their brains more than their limbs. Over the years, the Swiss workforce has become the most skilled in the world. Renowned for its ability to create outstanding quality products. The thing you see the most, is the watch and the chocolate. Although this country does not grow a single cocoa tree, Switzerland imports raw products such as gold, metals, chemicals, mainly from European countries and the United States. Then make them into extremely valuable products, and export them back to these countries. And to other Asian countries, such as, China, India. The 10 export items with the largest value in 2019, including, pharmaceuticals accounted for 26.4% of total export turnover, precious stones and precious metals accounted for 25.5%, machinery, including computers, accounted for 7.3%, organic chemicals accounted for 7%, watches accounted for 6.9%. Optical and medical equipment accounted for 5.5%, electrical machinery and equipment accounted for 4%, the rest are other industries. If you want to know if someone is rich, look at the friends they are playing with. Likewise, a country as rich as Switzerland, also has very rich friends. Among them are Germany, the United States, the United Kingdom, China, France, India, Italy, Hong Kong, and Japan, respectively, the leading trading partners of Switzerland. For the past 10 years, Switzerland has consistently topped the list of the most competitive economies, according to the World Economic Forum. The country is consistently named the best place for expats, looking for investment opportunities, and high-paying jobs. In addition, preferential tax rates compared to other European countries, also attract businesses to Switzerland. As well as talented people who want to find a place to develop themselves. Thereby, helping Switzerland gather a workforce with talent and expertise, suitable for the development of the high-tech industry. In addition, a rich country must have a good education. In the most recent survey, Switzerland was one of the five countries with the best education system in the world. The Swiss constitution entrusts the cantons with the authority to run their own education system. So there will be obvious differences, in terms of education methods between states. Therefore, a child who wants to transfer schools from one state to another will be difficult to integrate. Like other countries, Switzerland has a system of public and private schools, but about 95% of students attend public schools. 
because the tuition fee is low and the quality of education is very good. So that's the choice of most people. The strength of the university training majors in Switzerland is tourism management, hotel, finance and banking in some economic related disciplines. According to the evaluation of students studying abroad here, Swiss universities scored 9 out of 10 for the quality of education. So in a nutshell, Switzerland is rich due to its stable economy in politics, playing with rich friends, investing in education and good technological innovation. Video ends here. Thank you all for watching and liking it. If you find the video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Goodbye and see you again.